After more than three days of testimony and more than three hours of deliberations, the jury found former police officer Michael Rosfeld not guilty in the shooting death of Antoine Rose II. Latest of our team coverage continues this morning with Bob Allen covering police preparations for the possibility of additional protest. And we begin with Megan Schiller live downtown with reaction to the verdict. Megan. Good morning. Every single morning this week, police officer patrol cars lined the base of the courthouse. And it's a pretty eerie feeling that they aren't here this morning after that verdict was reached late last night. The jury deliberating for a little more than three hours and coming back with a verdict, a unanimous verdict, that they wanted to acquit former East Pittsburgh police officer Michael Rosfeld. They were given five options by the judge. Acquittal, first degree murder, third degree murder, voluntary manslaughter, and involuntary manslaughter. Ultimately, the jury reaching a verdict of not guilty. In the moments after, we saw strong emotions and outrage on on the steps of the courthouse, supporters of Antoine Rose II asked why the big rush to come to a decision. One community activist also argued that the jury was brought in from a conservative part of the state. He and he said others believed that the jury rushed to a decision to get back home after a week long trial. We talked with the attorneys on both sides after the verdict was read. I think that the that there was enough evidence in this case uh, to merit longer deliberation and more consideration of, of the entire evidence, given the gravity of the situation. I've said repeatedly throughout this trial that the humanity of Antoine Rose wasn't put on display. Uh, and I think that if, um, if they were considering that they were valuing the life of a beautiful, intelligent, uh, valuable member of this community, then it, it should have been afforded more time. I give this jury a lot of credit. This was a very hard case. You know, I would point out to you that this was not an all-white jury. There are African Americans on this jury. They listened to the facts. They listened to the law. And in my opinion, they rendered the correct verdict. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this right now. You know, this case had nothing to do with race. Absolutely nothing to do with race. And certain people in this city have made it that way. And, and it's sad. And we would like to point out that Tomasi had said earlier in the week that if it had been a black police officer and a white victim, that possibly things would have been different. Now, Rosfeld was seen tearing up when that verdict was read. It's not necessarily over for him yet. The Rose family does have a civil case that they are filing against him in conjunction with this, but it is likely that this verdict will bolster his defense in that civil case as well. We're live outside the courthouse, Megan Schiller, KDK News. Protesters upset about the verdict took to the streets overnight. They were out as hundreds blocked the intersections at Forbes and Murray. They were chanting. Some were holding signs saying there was no justice for Antoine Rose II. And Pittsburgh is not stronger than hate. That's the thing. Pittsburgh loves to make this thing like we're stronger than hate. Pittsburgh is not stronger than hate because hate lives right here. Hate just happened here a few months ago. Protesters also said they're upset that Antoine Rose's family is hurting and they believe the shooting was racially motivated. They also spray painted a portion of the street with a logo that simply reads J4A or Justice for Antoine. As a safety precaution, there were salt trucks set up blocking the entrance to the Zone 5 police headquarters on Washington Boulevard. Last night, those were there saying in an effort to keep everyone safe. Well, Pittsburgh police say that they are prepared to keep everyone safe, including demonstrators and residents, business owners and visitors following that verdict. Bob Allen continues our team coverage this morning with more on how police are preparing for this. Bob. Well, Brenda, we know that Pittsburgh police are working 12 hour shifts today. It's all in an effort to keep as many officers on the streets and in the zones as possible. The main goal is to keep the city safe now that a verdict has been reached in the Michael Rossford, tr Rossfield trial. Antoine Rose's mother has asked demonstrators to stand down. Last night there were several peaceful demonstrations. One was in downtown and then it led to uh, one in East Liberty. Someone's dead, someone's child is dead. And there's nothing that we can do about it. And we're, we're trying to figure out what we can. Laws need to change and people need to listen to people of color, the people that 
are being affected by this. Um, people need to listen to what they need. People need to listen to the family of Antoine and what they need and what they want to happen right now. So we can expect us to see a strong police presence around the city, and they say it's all in an attempt to keep the demonstrators safe, along with residents, city-owned bus the business district, and visitors. Reporting live in the Strip District, Bob Allen, KDKA News.